Ow. Okay, yeah. That's all getting cut the fuck out the video. Um, anyway. What's going on, everybody? Elijah Fatal, Fatal Book Care Man. The time is currently 7 o'clock at night. The date is the 2nd of August. And we have our artist journey update. So I'm live from a different location. Well, I've done this location on like my, my, one of my recent videos. Shout out to my waves. I don't like this side right here. I don't like how this side is not coming in how I want it to. This side kind of is. You guys could kind of see it. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, yes, it's Artist Journey Update time. And in these Artist Journey Updates, I talk about my life, uh, my mental space, how I feel about the world, myself, and um, just the uh, feelings of being a young black man who is doing what he wants to do and pursuing his passion and his purpose, which is music. And not only that, but like coaching myself and coaching other people on life and shit. Um, and just learning, just on a consistent, a consistent mission to keep growing and shit. Uh, and in this video, I want to talk about confidence and the art of moving on. Two different things. I'm kind of going hand in hand. So I feel like in order for you to be confident and shit, you have to be able to move on from things that no longer no longer serve you. Not only do they not no longer serve you, but they're not beneficial for you in any type of way. Um, like even like right now with these videos, like I'm recording literally outside and there's people walking all around me and shit. And I'm just like, you know, I gotta get my video out anyway. Um, I enjoy making these videos. I should probably be more consistent with making them, but I enjoy making these videos. I wanted to make a point about confidence because I think a lot of, especially like young males and young, a lot of young black males, um, they don't grow up with the uh, idea that they should be confident in themselves at all. Um, when I was growing up, I talk about this a lot, you know, in my personal life and in, um, in these videos and shit, where I talk about, you know, growing up, being bullied. Now that I'm sober, I still, I, I, like a lot of these like thoughts, they come back to my head and shit. Um, you know, being bullied for, you know, how black I am or was, well, I like my skin color now, but I hated being black later, um, early in my life, you know, compared to, oh, you look like this dude and you look like this guy and that's this that, and the other and shit. You know, like, I used to absolutely despise those fucking comments and shit. Um, Ow. Okay, yeah, that's all getting cut the fuck out the video. Um, anyway, talk about being confident. Uh, I think that you have to be confident in yourself, number one, as a man and as a person in life. But my main target audience and my target niche is kind of men, um, young men. But things that I'm learning as a man and things that I'm like understanding now, like, okay, I should have been like this way or, you know, um, not even should have, would have, could have, but okay, this is where I'm at, bless you. This is where I'm at right now in my life. And this is what I wanna be in my life. So how can I achieve that part of my life? Okay, well, I have to do these kind of things and take these steps to, in order to, you know, build myself up and leave a legacy for myself and my fatal name. Uh, my last name is Fatal. Like some people get confidence, well, a lot of men get confidence from, you know, the amount of women they have sex with, you know, the clothes they drive, where they stay at, you know, and some people are just confident, like, you know, like me, I'm confident in myself because I woke up this morning. So whenever anybody asks me, how are you doing? I say, I woke up this morning. So that's already like a great start. Everything else is extra, you know, um, and which is true for me, like everything else is things that I'm striving for. And that makes me feel like, okay, I'm confident in myself because in this life I live, I have to be confident when it's the song I'm writing, the, you know, the song I'm engineering for myself, um, you know, my performances and shit. I have, you, I have to be confident because when I'm not confident, I don't put out my best work. So even with this video, I'm recording this video right now and I'm like, I need to get this video out, period. No matter who's around, no matter what anybody thinks that this guy is recording this video, he might as well to be a fucking YouTuber. Which in reality, I'm a content creator, so that means I'm on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all social medias. You guys can follow me. I'm going to leave my uh, Koji link that has all my social media down in the uh, description. And I'm also going to put it on the screen over here when I edit the video. Um, you know, but I have to be confident in everything I do anyway. So, um, it's, it's, it's a thing now where I'm like, I'm happy living this life and I'm happy to be alive because now I have something to wake up and work towards and I have something that I can keep waking up to build every day rather than being like oh oh my gosh woe is me because I have so much work to do when in reality it's a good thing that I have so much work to do because this is what's going to build me up and not sitting in my house jacking excuse me I probably can't say that um not sitting in my house you know doing nothing with my life the whole entire day so um you know I'm very happy to be right now where I'm at in my life. My phone's j moving around because I'm moving around in the car. 
Um, but I'm happy to be at where I'm at in my life right now. I think a lot of men aren't confident in themselves because they aren't happy where they're at in life. And that's your fault, you know? Because it's my fault for not being happy where I'm at in my life because it's my fault for not working towards it. If you have something in your life going on where you're not happy or you're not confident, it's your fault why you're not confident. And, you know, I can I can try and sugarcoat this however many ways we could probably sugarcoat it. But, and once again, this is mainly for young men and older men, probably older than me too. Because I feel like, you know, you can give games to anybody of any, any age. Um, if you're not where you're at, where you want to be in life, that's really your fault. There's, there's no... You have to take responsibility for everything that happens in your life. Like I take responsibility for everything that happens in my life. Whether it's work, whether it's dealing with a girl, whether it's not getting enough work done for the day. Like I literally told myself, okay, I have to record this video. It's supposed to be recorded yesterday because today is August 2nd. I was supposed to call, record this yesterday, August 1st on a Tuesday because when I have the videos recorded on Tuesday, I can edit them Tuesday night, Wednesday, and then have them ready for a schedule for Thursday. And I didn't fucking do that. So I like to watch out for my space, even though I don't care that there's people around, I like to watch out to see what's going on and shit. Um, you know, I need to always be working because an idle mind is the devil's playground. Like idle hands are the devil's playground. Like I'll do so much dumb shit not working. What I'm saying is that men are not taught, and I've been saying this for the longest now, men are not really taught to be confident in themselves from the very beginning and shit. I'm having sex with more women than you, or I got more money than you. That's a lot of like what I was bullied for, for not, you know, having sex with a lot of women and not having the most nicest clothes and shit. So that's what I was bullied for as a young child. Um, I literally get flashbacks of my days now being bullied. And it's crazy because I would never think about it when I was sober. I'd be able to talk about it because it's trauma, but I would never be able to like see it again. And I see it again now in my visions now, like when I like lay awake, being sober, like my, my brain is reconnecting everything that happened in my childhood. I remember seeing people's faces and stuff from my early childhood days. And it's like, wow, that's really crazy. What I'm basically saying is that if you're alive right now, if you're able to watch this video, if you're able to, you know, scroll your phone, breathe, the fact that you're able to breathe should be enough evidence for you that you should be confident in yourself, period. And people say, well, how do you be confident? Well, you know, build yourself up. I just posted about this, or I just made a tweet about this earlier. Do some exercise, you know what I mean? do some exercises get some joggings in read a book um figure out a skill i'm not saying just be confident because you're here and you're alive but while you're alive use your life for something positive don't just be here living and breathing as long as you're breathing you should be confident in the fact that you could do something you know what i mean no get your money up like i'm worried i'm trying to get my money up right now i'm not the richest dude in the world i'm not poor either well i'm not poor i wouldn't class i think poor is a mindset uh, but you know, I'm not racking in money or some shit right now, but I'm, I'm, I'm working towards building up myself to the point where I don't have to be working a full-time job my whole entire life. You know, um, I want to be able, my main goal is to make six figures. Now it's actually looking like it can actually be done. When I made that video about goals, I think it's like my second or third, um, artist journey update. You guys can click the playlist and check that out. Um, check out my other videos and shit about my artist journey because these are videos I'm trying to be consistent they're not consistent at all but I do give out parts of my life in these videos I talked about wanting to have at least a thousand fans of the Fatal Book brand and to make a hundred thousand dollars a year and I was very like unconfident when I said it but now I'm like oh yeah this shit is like this shit gonna happen no matter what this shit happening like you know look at them look at them so you see in certain lights these pop up over here but in certain lights they don't you feel me? But look at the waves. Like, come on now. You should be pushing towards something, especially to my young men out there and my older men out there. Um, I don't care who you are. There's no reason why you're complacent in life at all. I'm not complacent. Um, there are days where I don't want to get stuff done and I still have to push. Like I've worked, I've worked, what time is it? Seven o'clock. I started work today at 12. I probably had maybe half an hour. I didn't even take a nap today. No, I don't think I took a single nap today. I had coffee. That's what it was. Caffeine is the best fucking drug. Um, there's women everywhere. So people be like, oh, I'm having sex with more women than you decide and the other. And it's like, okay, that's cool. But there's women everywhere. So it's not necessarily like a thing that can hurt me and shit. No matter what happens, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to make sure that I'm able to build myself up and make my last name last. I actively did something with my life before I passed away. I don't want to just be like hitting, I don't know, fucking 40 and not doing nothing with my life, you know? Um, and I'm 25 now, so I'm giving myself 10 years to build this up. 
um it's not a deadline but it's like i want to have i want to have my 100k by at least the next 10 years when i hit 35. um are there a lot of 35 year olds making 100k i don't know but i want to make 100k by my, by the time i'm 35. really 30. i'm i'm really giving myself five years 10 is the absolute latest but i'm 25 now i want to be 30 making 100k a year so um yeah that's where i'm at right now and i have confidence in the fact that that's going to happen so uh, and then, you know, in my head, I'm like, literally just the thought that happened in my head right now, just now, I was like, okay, well, you don't have the confidence to talk to that, that woman. Um, I didn't want to. I'm actively recording a video, and I'm more focused on recording the video. There's attractive women everywhere. I've seen about 20 attractive women in my last 14 minutes recording this video. There's attractive women, women everywhere. This is why I go into the art moving on, but I might make it as another video. Um, I think that this video has gotten too long right now, and I want to cut out the beginning. Anyway, what I'm saying, the point of this video is I'm confident in myself now. I feel like I can achieve anything now because I've survived so many things. I've survived bad thoughts. I've survived homelessness. I've survived getting my heart broken several times. I've survived, you know, um, I've survived uh, psychotic episodes where I was on a, uh, a psychosis episode from a weed oil pen that I talked about in my musical mental um, health journey. Uh, um, yeah, I went through my own psychosis episode. I've been sober. I'm surviving being sober. So right now, the only thing I'm doing is cutting out a porn addiction. And really, it's just it's just it's just a novelty of seeing bitches do nasty shit on camera. Shout out to my balding spot. But look at my shit, bro. Like, look at the light. That shit looks crazy in my light. I love the Summer Walker song. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. This is a very dope video. I'm happy to be back doing my YouTube videos. I am editing videos, I'm making lyric videos, I'm, what else? Engineering my own music, I'm performing, marketing, text, mar text message marketing, which reminds me, I gotta start building up my text list again. Uh, it's been a dope life I'm living, man, and I'm fully, I'm fully happy to be living this life because to, to, to see rock bottom and then to say I'm not gonna die here and I'm going to uh, push myself forward it feels good. It feels really good to be here. And this is where I'm confident. I'm confident that I'm alive for a reason. And I'm confident that I'm not I'm not going nowhere. I'm here to stay. My legacy is here to stay. So anyway, that's my artist journey update for today. Um if you're a man watching this, even if you're a woman too, work on your fucking self. Build yourself up. Do exercise. You know what I mean? Read a book. Get a skill. Find out how to do something different with your life. You know what I mean? The women will forever be there. There will always be women. You can have sex with a thousand women and not have anything done accomplished in your life. I pray you guys all have a great rest of your night if you're watching this. Shout out to my car moving around. I gotta get one of those GoPro that sit right there. YouTube video is done. Now I'm going to uh, finish doing my laundry. Probably do some interactions on social media. And uh, yeah. I got a lyric video for my new song, Pressure, that's going to be dropping probably a week after it drops, a week or two. Um, I got content on me that's being made right now. A lot of content is being made right now, so it's dope. I feel good, man. I feel good. We're working, man. We're definitely working. So I pray you guys have a good night. Once again, it's Elijah Fatal, Fatal Book. If there's anything that you guys want to talk about and add to confidence, like what a man could do, add to what a man could do to be confident, you know, um, how a person can be confident in themselves, why being confident is important, anything that has to do with confidence, please leave a link below. I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel. Um, I've heard people be on YouTube for five, 10 years and get nowhere. I'm gonna keep dropping these videos because I know that there's a different way of talking about things on YouTube and I just like to get my thoughts out on YouTube in a longer format. So um, yeah, you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Y'all stay safe and once again, it's Elijah Fatal, Fatal Book, and I'm sending out of here. Peace. Me don't want me nobody tearing me down. I've been pushing this.